Hello everybody. Uh, today's video is just an, yet another bramble clean. We find that with the constant uh, building, the, the exposure of, of the stone, it's constantly filled with dust. And so every now and then we realise we can't handle it anymore and it needs a really good clean. So today I'm quite Looking forward to having a really good bramble clean. Hope you enjoy watching me do a bit of work. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Right, on with it.
I'm not going to mess around much more in here. I just wanted to get it looking a little bit better. I just want to sweep through just to keep on top of things. That's all I'm trying to do today. So we'll go into the hall now and start working through towards the back and uh, yeah, make a little bit of a difference, hopefully. Right. Okay, so this is the front door from Bramble. So you can see it's a teeny tiny little hall. Um, there's my jacket. Maybe I'll end up putting that back on as I go out towards the back of the house. Um, but I just give it a quick street through to the dining room. Um, that got flooded yesterday when we were doing the um, pressure hosing, um, just to give you an idea. Um, but yeah, onwards and upwards. Or downward, actually, downstairs. go and buy a broom this week uh, that's a definite must the problem is when you do all this you think oh, I want to get rid of all this and all this but I know that that's just wasting time right now um, because the main thing is we give it a sweep through and a clean and we've got jobs that we're trying to focus on and not get sidetracked because I could easily start taking all this wallpaper off right now but I'm going to concentrate now on the dining room, like I said, it had the flood yesterday. I'll take you through there and um, make a little bit of a improvement. Like I said, I'm going to need to get a mop this week. Another great investment, I feel sure. Um, I'll pop you over here. So hopefully that will give you the best angle. You know, brambles. Oh, no, that's not going to work. Teeny tiny. Um, I think that's probably about the best. There, maybe that's a better view. Um, right, onward. Flood in here yesterday. We used a fever to get most of the water up because it can take up water. Got a load of stuff here. Um, I think you saw I took the floor in up the other day. These are underneath. So this will do for the moment. I'm not worried about it. It is just simply a clean through and that's it at the moment. So. I feel any improvement is an improvement. And I really want to get in the kitchen because the kitchen's got some work to be done.
tip. Awful room. It's the kitchen. So Rich is amazing at his his DIY and looking after the hat, you know, doing all those jobs. He's terrible at the kitchens, things like that. Um, but I realise how hard he's working. So I'm not going to have a fit at him because, you know, at the end of the day, I know I've walked out of here and thought I'm just too tired. But I also know what a difference it makes to come in here of a morning and everything look nice and clean. Um, and I know we've got a lot of stuff that, you know, you pick up, you want it to hand, but it's still, let's try and keep this as a kitchen. So another tidy up ahead. Oh, I know. I was just telling you I'm trying not to lose your temper with you because I know you're working very, very hard. How could anybody lose their temper with me? Basically, when they walk into one of your kitchens, that you've been through like a little whirlwind. No, I know. But you're working very hard in other ways. Yes. Ah, oh, I guess I'm lucky to say the yes, dear. One of the things I've realised being in Bramble is we need to do something with the sink. Um, so one of the, it's been a really good thing actually, spending quite a bit of time in here because you realise what things work and what don't work. And I realise I need something over here with the sink so I can put my dirty dishes and then have an order to it. That's a good thing.
just going to take you outside a second to show you what Rich is up to. Okay, we found a very good use for our moat. Hello, Rich. Hello. Right, could you explain what you're up to? That's raining. My wonderful little chariot. Bless it. My Land Rover. Yeah, we all know it's a Land Rover. Lula. Lula. Hi, Lula. I went to check the oil. Yes. And um, whoever had it before, I put about three pints too much oil in there. Ooh, generous so of them. I thought I may as well empty the oil out, change the oil filter, put new oil in, then I know for sure that it's done right. Okay. Because if they put extra oil in there, who knows what else they've done right and done. Okay. So I use our handy dandy moat to get my self like body <laughs> under the car. I see. And I've drained out a lot of oil. Okay. Now I'm just trying to change the oil for Okay. You feeling confident? Yes, dear. <laughs> okay. Nice to see you keeping you best, busy. You best go away before the bad language. Okay, I feel like we should. So, anyway, back to the kitchen. Okay, so you're looking a little bit better. I'm probably going to take the stuff home and put it in the dishwasher where we're staying. We are lucky we've got a um, reach put in the hot water tap, which is definitely a godsend. Um, but I do still find that if I've not been here or the boys have been here for a few days, uh, I just take the cups home to give them a, a proper going through. Um, so as I say, definite purchase on the list is some kind of mop. Um, but just the difference with having the work surfaces clear is just massive. So um, I'm just going to finish this bit, like I say, get everything ready to take back to the other place. So that hopefully next person in in the morning, you can have a good positive start to your day. So. <laughs>
Job done, roughly for today. Oh, and sit down and go through my list to see what else we've got to do next. Looks better then. Definitely looks a bit better. <laughs>